Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, I just wanted to talk about how big the crypto mining ecosystem is. And I just want to give you guys perspective how far we've come since 20, 2009. And it's it's just been insane in the past 10 years, in my opinion, how big and how many people are invested into cryptocurrency and developing in cryptocurrency especially okay so to begin i have a medium article uh, sorry a medium infographic here uh, this is from 2017 i couldn't find a recent one but just to gauge you know the whole cryptocurrency ecosystem as a whole not just crypto mining you know there's different blockchains out there there's different dev tech distributed computing data storage legal analytics and resources prediction markets Tons of different cryptocurrencies, different coins out there, privacy and identity development, healthcare development, ATMs, wallets, you know, cold storage like Ledger Wallet, Treasure, Keep Key, and many others. Uh, exchanges, especially, there's tons of different exchanges out there. Financial services, GovTech, social networks, and IoT, and a bunch more stuff. That's just a part of the cryptocurrency ecosystem as a whole, right? And it just gives you guys perspective, well, it gives me perspective that there's so many different players, so many different people in this space invested in so many different areas. And it's not just crypto mining. So for crypto miners, I would say for most of us, we have to be profitable in some form or fashion. And as we can see here, the total market capitalization right now is around 295 300 300 billion dollars USD okay pretty big in my opinion pretty big ecosystem to have you know roughly 300 billion dollars of course this is probably not you know adding into the other companies that are invested like there's probably millions of dollars if not billions of dollars invested in different other companies I'm not sure if the whole market capitalization is a part of that number as well but I'm sure that there's you know investor money that are that's not included in this capitalization so take that as you will but as crypto mining right the crypto mining ecosystem is quite big I want to give you guys perspective here so let's do a comparison on Bitcoin mining okay so the SHA-256 right there's roughly okay this is this is not exact but this is according to many stats.stream there's 2,061,212 different miners. Miners meaning different Bitcoin addresses mining to their address, right? So whether that whether that be one miner that has hundreds of S9s, we don't know. But there's there's a bunch of other pools here that don't show the miners, but there it could be more than 2 million here definitely. I'm going to say 3 or 4 million uh, people could be invested into crypto mining, Bitcoin, just just Bitcoin. So I just want to give that give you guys that perspective because there's huge players in the space that have poured millions, if not maybe hundreds of millions of dollars into huge crypto mining facilities and uh, when I when I when I look at those crypto mining facilities and look at what I have in comparison, I am nothing. Like I know this is a GPU mining channel, YouTube channel and I usually talk about Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, whatever, the top 100 GPU mineable coins, right? And I just want to show, just to give perspective, that look at this. Ethereum, roughly right now, if roughly, it's about 200,000 different miners, okay? Bitcoin had 2 million different miners. And the Bitcoin ecosystem, like in my opinion, is... Uh, let's say I would say 10 times bigger than what Ethereum uh, in terms of crypto miners, right? Because the amount of people invested in crypto mining uh, for Bitcoin is just massive, right? And going down the list, of course, let's just go uh, Monero. Let's see, 40,000 miners, okay? Uh, roughly. And uh, Ravencoin, let's go to Ravencoin. 20,000 miners. So, like, 20 to 30,000 miners on Ravencoin roughly and uh, with all these different projects if we were to if we were to add up all of the different miners obviously there's no list here for that but I, I would say there's 
we're up in the 10 to 15, maybe 20 million people uh, invested into crypto mining. Who knows? I'm not quite sure on the exact number. Don't don't quote me on that. Nice hash here also shows the amount of miners, different miners uh, mining on the different algorithms. OK, so this is just another part of the ecosystem. Like on the new nice hash right now, we can see that on Daker Hashimoto, there's about 10,000 different miners on uh, Dagger Hashimoto. And what am I, again, what I mean by miners, guys, is people, okay? Or specific addresses on NiceHash pointing to Dagger Hashimoto. So it's like 1.3755 terahash. And again, looking at Ethereum, Ethereum hash rate right now, 186 terahash, okay? So NiceHash is pretty small right now. Uh, on the on the nice hash uh, server list uh, compared to the different ethereum ethereum network hash rates right now but like i said i'm just i'm just doing some comparisons here just giving you guys perspective on just how big this ecosystem is how many people are invested into crypto mining another big part of crypto mining in the crypto mining ecosystem is uh you know profitability calculators uh, profitability websites, you know, what to mine, uh, coin wars, there's a whole bunch more out there, uh, software developers, and of course there's there's coin developers for the the coins themselves, you know, there's 25 to 3,000 different coins out there, and just just showing that there's also hardware companies out there invested into crypto mining as well, you know, like uh, Gigabyte, ASRock, Asus, uh, EVGA, I think all the big software companies, uh, all the big hardware companies have invested into mining motherboards, mining GPUs, and uh, Sapphire with the 16 gigabyte RX 570 that just came out a couple months ago. But then in the crypto mining ecosystem, I can't forget, you know, ASICs, right? Bitmain, how much did they make? Let's see here. I have a Wikipedia thing here. Bitmain reportedly made early 2018 742 million dollars in the first half of 2018 okay in the first half of 2018 they made 742 million dollars it just blows my mind how much money right and with all that money it i mean that goes to show 742 million coincides with the 2 million if not 3 million or 4 million different bitcoin miners on the on the network right now mining bitcoin i don't know the calculation of the exahash here divided by i don't know how many at miner s7s or s17s or s9s uh, maybe i'll do that in another video but wow there, there's a lot of a lot of ant miners on the network right now and i can't forget you know it's not just bitmain and it also coincides with how many different bitcoin mining farms or just crypto mining farms in general are out there in the world right now. And really good example is uh, Hut8 Mining. They're based in Alberta. And you can see here, they just have massive, massive farms here um, in, in Alberta. They have two huge farms. And I, I always like to go back to these guys because they are doing a really, you know, stand up crypto mining facility with huge, you know, these called these block boxes and they're using like 32.5 megawatts uh, producing 290 petahashes at full load and uh, they're using these Bitfury block boxes which, you know, cost millions and millions of dollars uh, to, to buy and it's just amazing, right? 515 petahash at 62.7 megawatts at their other location here. Oh, look at that guys. Just just amazing what it, it just goes to show like we have residential miners and then we have huge players in the space like hot eight that invested millions if not hundreds of million millions of dollars into crypto mining and i i just wanted to reiterate that crypto mining i i just don't see it going away and with this amount of people invested this amount of of hardware uh companies um developers, miners, YouTubers even. The U YouTuber ecosystem for crypto mining is also getting, you know, bigger and bigger. You know, I came into the crypto YouTuber mining space back in the end of 2018. 
So November 2018 is when I started making YouTube videos for crypto mining and now it's we are in the middle of 2019 and I've been making a video ever since and in my opinion the reason why I started it is because I have a passion for this stuff and I want to continue to be in this space any way possible whether that is crypto mining or have this YouTube channel which I can portray information for you guys, give you guys perspective, mining software. Oh, I forgot about mining software. Mining software is also another big part of the ecosystem. It's just a whole bunch. I've probably missed a bunch of other stuff, but I I just hope I got the point out and you guys can realize that the space, I don't think it's going away anytime soon. And of course, in the end, for those that want to get into GPU mining, we really have to look at you know what your electrical cost is because it may not make sense uh, for most places, uh, especially residential electricity costs. And like I said, for these big these big companies, they they have very very cheap electricity costs. I know that Hot Eight manages to pay only four cents Canadian, two cents USD per kilowatt hour really cheap they're they're just making money like no other right now they're they're profiting really well of course they have other expenses as well so who knows how much money they make after after every day or every month but anyways guys let me know what you think this was a pretty just a perspective video anyways guys i'll i'll see you guys soon let me know what you think smash the like button all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one and peace out